Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com and this is my tutorial on how to make a powerful bass synth patch in Reason. We'll be combining three different sounds into one bass effect and since Thor has three oscillators it's perfect for this. We'll have one mid-range sound, one bassy sound and one high-pitched sound to make a full sounding bass synth effect. Okay, let's begin. Right click the Reason interface and go to the Thor Polysonic Synthesizer to create an instance of Thor in your rack. Okay, just right click and go initialize patch to get rid of the irritating preset that comes when you load it. I'll just copy across some notes so we can hear what we're doing. Okay, I'll just mute it and play what we're gonna make. This is the loop as it stands. And we're gonna be making this bass effect. Okay. Solo out of four instance. Just get this out of the way. And let's begin making our effect. Okay, click Show Programmer. And it opens up Thor so we can get to editing. Three oscillators on the left are here. And we've got these drop down arrows to change the oscillator to different types. Now, for oscillator one, just click the arrow and go to Phase Modulation. I'll create a phase mod oscillator. I'll just change this second was um, second wave here to this kind of sharp attack wave and that punches through the mix. That's our mid sound. We're going to have our low and high pitch sounds in oscillators two and three. Okay. Now let's move on to the filter to to start um, adding a bit of character to our sound. Okay. Turn the frequency and the resonance up to about a quarter, just over a quarter. Um, take the envelope and filter uh, uh, velocity rather up to just over half. Change it to 24 type 1 here on the mode and take the drive up. The drive is going to be what makes it aggressive. Okay, really cut through the mix. Okay, now oscillator 2, we're going to add our bassy sound. Now click the drop down arrow and go to phase modulation again. Now, this as it sounds, you can't hear it because it's not going through uh, to the filter and the, thus to the amp envelope and all that. So to get it through, going through, just click the number 2 up here to send oscillator number 2 through. Okay, now we've got two oscillators, but this one isn't very bassy as it stands, so we're just going to take the, the um, octave down, two octaves, and take PM just over half. There we go, it's nice and aggressive, you can hear it now. Now, the last part of our effect is going to be the high pitch sound, which is what kind of gives the click to the bass effect. So click the drop down arrow, and simply just click analog. And there we go. Just need to click three. There, you can hear it. That gives that kind of um, higher pitch part of the bass so you can hear it in the mix as well as feel it. Okay, so as it stands, that we've got the, all the elements of the sound there, but we just want to make them a bit more punchy, a bit more bassy. So to do that, we're going to add some effects. So I'll just um, hide the programmer there, just click the show programmer button again, and right click Thor, go create and M-Class Compressor. Now, we're just going to whack the input gain up to about three quarters, and that just makes it so that all the three oscillators are about the same kind of level um, in the mix. Okay, I'll right-click the compressor, and our last effect that we're going to add is an M-Class Maximizer. Now, I'll just turn the input gain up to full, and the four milliseconds look ahead on, and that just gives it a really punchy feel. Okay, let's let's hear how that sounds in the mix, then, shall we? And there we go. A nice hard-hitting bass for your music. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website www.boyinaband.com. Have a nice day.